What's up guys, it's Cameron and it's been a while since I've recorded a video specific for YouTube and today I'm going to be highlighting some games I've played recently against some incredibly talented chess players, um, a couple of grandmasters, an IM, an FM, and a WCM. Uh, you're probably wondering how in the hell is Cameron playing these kinds of players um, purely by sheer luck. Uh, a friend of mine invited me to a chess club that they have created on chess.com. It's called the Prize Fighter Chess Club, um, and he arranged a St. Patrick's Day Blitz Arena. So in this arena, I got to play a ton of really, really talented chess players, and I thought it'd be funny to take a look at those games and just see how long could I manage equality or even get a better position on titled players. So that's what I'm gonna show today. Before I jump into the games, I just wanna say, if you have enjoyed my content, if you're here watching, it would really help me out if you like this video, subscribe to my channel. It goes a really long way in supporting me, and it's completely free for you to do. So. Without further ado, I am going to jump straight into these games. The first game is against international master John Bartholomew. I got to play John on his stream. He randomly plays 3-0 Blitz games against his viewers, and I hopped into the Q on Lee Chess, and we got this game. So all of these games are 3-0 Blitz. It is my absolute worst time control. Please forgive me for the movies you're about to see me play. Um, in this game against John, he played the English against me, which is 1c4. And let's see how long it takes for me to lose equality against John. Um, everything I played in the beginning was fairly book. I am not familiar with this opening at all, so I was surprised to see that I made it to about move... Yeah, move 7 was the last book move in this game. Um, you know, holding equality here so far, I thought I was developing really well. Not familiar at all with where the pieces go in the English. Um, I played h6, then g5, and John drops a piece sacrifice for two pawns. Um, absolutely insane. I wasn't ready for it. I'm actually worse here, and uh, I played queen e7, which is definitely the losing move. So against John, I made it through 11 moves, almost a minute and 30 seconds in this blitz game before I completely lost the plot, and uh, the rest of this game was just a cleanup job from John. I don't even know if I'll go through all of the moves. It ended up going 31 uh, total moves when he mated me, and I'll just, I guess walk through this game quickly while I mention, um, if you don't follow John Bartholomew on YouTube, on Twitch, he's absolutely one of my favorite um, chess content creators. I will link to his channels in the description of this video. He was absolutely pivotal in um, my chess learnings, uh, and, and he still is, so I still consume all of his content. Can't recommend him enough. Um, we played this game out, you know, just getting the opportunity to play him was a dream come true, and I wasn't gonna resign but uh, he did eventually clean that game up. So uh, what, what did I say? I think seven, no, 11 moves I made it against John before I lost the quality. Uh, moving on to some of the games from the arena that I got to play in. This is the first GM I've ever played in my life, which is kind of shocking. I don't think many people in their whole lives will go uh, without getting to play a GM. This is GM Caden Trough. He's from Utah. Um, I will link his channels in the description below. I got the white pieces, so I got to open d4, and he played the England gambit against me, which is um, I'm very unfamiliar with. Game continued in this fashion. I dropped back. He took here, which I was surprised to see is actually better for me, but I played a game-losing move, uh, bishop c3, uh, <laughs> dropping the evaluation to minus 4.9 for black, and from here, again, this was just another cleanup job for Caden. Um, big shout out to him. Thank you for the game. Uh, but everything from here was uh, just me getting absolutely cooked. I will make a super cut uh, from my stream of that day where I just was kind of mind boggled by the amount of talent I was playing and what was happening to me. So I, of course, played the game out against Caden and I got made it on move 17. But, you know, we made it to move six before I lost the quality against uh, Chess Sharks. On to the next game, I played GM Benjamin Bach. I will also link his channel in the description below. This one I actually maintained equality for a lot longer than I thought. Um, I got the Carol Khan, which is uh, an opening that I'm very familiar with. If you watch my channel, you know I play the Carol a lot. Um, so I was able to maintain equality for quite a while in this game. Everything was fairly standard. 
and I would say I made it to probably right around here is where, you know, he has enough of an advantage, obviously, as a GM to just completely cook me. Um, I didn't play like a game losing move per se in this game. Right here, I made a mistake that takes the evaluation from less than a pawn to almost two. So I would say right about here is where we lost the game. Uh, 17 moves in, I made it 45 seconds with Benjamin. Again, thank you to him for the games. My next game, ooh, I was already skipping ahead. I played FM uh, Ga Gabriel, let me just make sure I get this right, Gabriel Ortega. Um, again, I had the white pieces, I opened D4. And uh, I actually played pretty decent in this game, I would say. I think I actually held equality or a slight advantage for the entirety of this game. Um, I'm sure it was just, you know, it being a 3-0 blitz game, but he did miscalculate on this move and took, uh, which enabled me to take a piece with a pawn. And from here, I, you know, was up quite a bit of material. I did uh, eventually blunder away a piece. Uh, whoops, I skipped to the end of the game. Here I blundered a piece and I still have a very slight advantage, but against a player this much stronger than me, it doesn't mean a whole lot. Um, I tried to hold it together. You can see I'm getting low on time. I'm approaching a minute left and I did go on to lose this game on time, but I maintained a quality or better for the entirety of the game. So I still lost, of course, um, but uh, I did eventually, uh, you know, gain a much better position. So that was really cool. Thank you to Gabriel for the game. Um, it was really fun, and unfortunately, I wasn't able to clean it up. You can see here he had two minutes and 30 seconds left on their clock. I spent all three of my minutes just to get a winning position and end up to lose on time. The next game is against WCM Mexicana. I do not know actually who this is. I tried looking them up. I couldn't find out who the actual player was. Um, let's see how long I maintain equality against WCM Mexicana. It looks like I actually held it together pretty well. Um, I'm just kind of uh, going through the game reviews to see where in the game did it look like it went poorly for me. Um, I think right about here I made a mistake, one and a half uh, in favor of white. They didn't see what the winning move was would have been there, and here I made a mistake. So offering a trade, and uh, from here I just didn't have any sort of advantage in this game. I think it ended with me losing on time, as many Blitz games do. Um, yes, so uh, my opponent had a significant advantage against me, and I ended up losing on time. Last but not least, I played Chess Sharks again. I got a rematch in the same arena. Let's see how I fared in game two against Caden. Uh, looks like it's going okay so far. Um, moving on, I have a slight advantage. Look at that. And there. <laughs> Move eight is where we lose the advantage, and it's just kind of one mistake after another. And from here, it just you know slipped out of control, and it looks like I got mated in... 21 moves in this game. So um, that was it. Those are all the games I wanted to share with you. I didn't need this to be educational. Um, they were just some casual 3-0 blitz games that uh, really had the good fortune to play. Again, I'm going to link everybody's channels below. Thank you again to Taylor for the opportunity to play these games. I thought it was hilarious. Again, if you want to support my channel, subscribe here on YouTube, like this video, go find me on Twitch if you um, enjoy chess content on Twitch. Uh, I stream there a few days a week as well. So thanks for sticking around. I hope you got a good laugh out of that. Um, it was really fun. And uh, yeah, I hope to get opportunities like this in the future. It's super rare and I'm so appreciative of it. So until the next video, thanks everyone. Hope you're well.